The Dice Man Comedy. Oh, that's what Simon's mother said last night. All right, all we'll right. Forget about it. Anyway, welcome back to American Idol. In case you're just tuning in, let me introduce you to our judges over here. We got the full French fag, <laughs> Simon. It's Liverpool, Mr. Dice. Liverpool, England. Liverpool, How many times Liverpool, do I got to tell you before fun. you get it through your Neanderthal Next up, brain? We got Polar Rat Dude. <laughs> Some freaky who uh, from about 10 years ago made a couple songs or whatever. Yeah, whatever. Wave to the camera, you dumb blonde. And uh, some black guy. Anyway, on with the competition. We got our first contestant over here. His name is, uh, get on out here, Spocky. His name is, uh, what's your name there? Jerome May. Yeah, and definitely another black guy. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I don't. Now, how many dumpsters must I follow through <laughs> so I have to eat cheeseburger and some more fries? Now, how many meals must I eat with a side of a maggot and fries? My dinner, my friends, come from the dark can. Come from the dark can. Oh, stop my it, stop it, stop it. I can't take it anymore. Oh, 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 Simon, what are you doing interrupting him? I mean, I know he's black, but let him finish, you racist prick. Oh! It's not that. It's just that is the most atrocious performance I've seen in my 15 years of hosting this show. And, and my God, man. Go buy yourself some clothes. Your paper pants are totally clashing with your chill out t shirt. What are you, a freaking fashion critic now? <laughs> oh, little boy blue. Hey, that sounds a lot like Simon over here. That filthy freaking bone smuggler. <laughs> oh, I'm over here now. Over where exactly? Yeah, onto the filthy hoo. <laughs> Um, I think I deserve a little bit more respect than that. Yeah, Hoochie, the only thing you deserve is a trip back to the Super 8 Motel after the show. Anyway, oh. anyway, Jeremy, I thought you were wonderful. In fact, I thought you showed a lot of talent and enthusiasm. You know what? You remind me of a young Michael Bolton. Michael Bolton? Nice. Ah, yeah, nice. along with the star power of a Jerry's kid. Shut your freaking <laughs> hole, you filthy hoo If I wanted your opinion, I still wouldn't ask for it. You and me are going back to the hotel, and I'm going to show you a new meaning of the words straight up. Oh! <laughs> I'm not talking to you, happy pants over there. I'm gonna tell you just like I told your father. I ain't swinging that way. You're not invited, Simon. You freak. Anyway, I'd ask you for your opinion, but unfortunately for you, sir, you're still black. Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy. I think you were an inspirationist to us all. I think Dr. King would have been mighty proud of you. Yeah, well, get off the damn stage. Next up, we got a great contestant lined up for you. He's uh, a little old, but he's got some song prepared, and I, I like to bring him out here. Come on, Mr. What's your name there, Spocky? Al Goldstein. Al Goldstein. All right, all right. Give it up for Al Goldstein, everybody. Good luck. My Porsche's gone <laughs> My Porsche's gone away My gardener Jose is pissed My gardener Jose is pissed today With my financial situation I had to lower his 50 cent an hour wage <laughs> I'm out of money. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. Great performance there, Spocky. What do you give it to him, homo? Well, he certainly is dressed better than the last mess, but he has the range of an autistic. 
Oh, come on, Simon. He was great. He was up there. He was moving around. He was doing what he does. He was performing for us. He was giving us a performance. He had took a lot of courage for you know, to get up to there. You know, just to get you to shut up, I'm going to ask the black guy for a reason. What you thinking over there? Al. 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 I think you were an inspiration to us all. I think Dr. King would be mighty proud of you. All right, and now it comes down to the point where we got to make a decision here. Uh, will the other contestant please come out on stage? Hurry up there, buddy. All right, I guess we got another guy coming up here, but whatever. You guys got a pick? So who's it going to be then? You got uh, Blackie over here. Uh, the Jew. Or this bum that just walked in off the street. Hit it. Well, all those performances were wretched, <laughs> ghastly even. But, like it says in my contract, I must choose a winner. And I choose... <laughs> Al Goldstein, you're the winner. Congratulations. All right, uh, Boulder. <laughs> well, this evening, it's been a really tough choice that we have to get to here at the end. Um, I do have to say that we had two very aptly talented performers this evening. Thank you for coming out and showing us what you could do. Um, it took a lot of bravery and guts to get up on the stage and come out here to perform for us. And you did it so well. Nobody freaking cares. Shut your freaking cake hole and pick a winner. Jeremy. I picked Jeremy. And uh, what about you, black guy? Dice, dice, dice. I think you were an inspiration to us all. I think Dr. Crane would be mighty proud of you. What are you, a freaking retard or something over there? I'm asking you for a winner. Pick a winner. I picked the black guy. Of course you do. Of course you do. He picks the black guy. Well, you just won $500 there, Sparky. Go buy some spank and overdose. I don't care. Get off my stage. All of you guys, get off my stage. I'm the Dice Man. Thank you for tuning in to American Idol. Paula, let's go. No, I don't think so. You and me. Good night.